Welcome back to Iron Man Daily. I am the type of guy who has mental illness, but won't seek help. So, coming back with another episode, because uh, my roommate's not home right now. And you know that cracking brews and playing Iron Man Daily go hand in hand. So before I do anything else on this account, I'm just going to quickly pick this limpwort plant. But the plan for today, I was originally thinking Bryophyta. But I've decided instead to do Winter Todd because I finally learned how the warmth meter works and how I can play that game without dying. So we're going to give it a shot. going to try to hit some of these uh, combat achievement objectives. And uh, I'm going to have to refresh myself on what these are before I get started. Winter Todd. Heal a Pyromancer. Repair a brazier. Subdue the winter tod with four pieces of snatchery on the dome. And in order to achieve this, I'm going to go and recollect all my clue hunter garb. I have this inventory full of, uh, full of um, farming stuff, and I also haven't entered my bank pin yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do all that now, and then I'll edit the video out. So I'll come back once I'm ready to go at winter tod. Let's make debt a taxable event. Or, wait, sorry, that doesn't make any sense. That's just so random. Okay, I'm here at the Winter Tot, and I'm ready to jump in. I've got my four pieces of warm clothing on, and hopefully this just works. So, one thing I learned is that you have to get these, um... You have to make these rejuvenation potions in order for it to work properly, and then you don't need any food. So, uh, there's these, like, oh yeah, the sprouting roots, take these. And these will heal, like, 30 points each or something. Free Herblore XP, 9, that's pretty dope. So if I ever get jammed and I don't want to hit 99 farming before I hit 99 herb lore, I can just uh, make a endless number of rejuvenation potions. Let's turn the music on. So I'm going to keep an eye on my warmth now. That's what happened last time is I I allowed my warmth to get to zero, and it killed me. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough for 500 points, because the Winter Todd's almost dead anyways, but we'll see how it goes. Now, there's a chance I'll get interrupted with a Winter Todd Blast while I'm fletching these, and I'll have to re-click, so let's pay attention here. This chopping is kind of annoying. Pretty loud chopping sounds. I'm just going to dump all my kindling in here. Somebody got a level up. It's only 2% left. There's no way I'm going to make it. I'm only at 200 points. Too many people down here. Let's go north side.
get some agility XP while we're waiting. Okay, five seconds. Let's get ready to chop. They light the brazier first. That's interesting. This reminds me of Warcraft 2, this constant chopping sound. All my villagers chopping their trees, you know? So I'm watching my warmth meter now, and if I take a hit down from 84%, then I'm going to re-fletch, because it's going to interrupt my fletching. Oh, I just healed a bunch, that's random. Healed up to 96. Oh. Never took a hit. So I need to get at least 500 points in order to get loot from this. I'm just going to keep up with the kindling the whole time. That's my strategy. Never going to put logs in, because I don't care about fire making XP, I just want the points. Damn, this XP is crazy though, like 300 XP each, goddamn. And this is just kindling. Light the brazier. Okay, back for more. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a whole second load in here. Oh, it looks like you get 25 XP for lighting the brazier, that's why they do it. That makes sense. Better try that next time. I want to get 1,000, so I'm going to fill up my inventory almost to the end and try that. Or maybe I'll do it like this. Who knows? I want to get over here so that if the brazier goes out, I can relight it and get that XP. Just like this. Light, light. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. I got that oh, XP plus 10 XP from the log, and by XP I mean points. I'm just talking about points, I mean, I'm not just talking about points, but points are what I want in this game. Going for points, don't care about XP. You know, I had stopped playing Iron Man daily for a long time because I was so focused on other priorities in my life, but I've decided to bring it back because it really helps me out um, psychologically, because it gives me a place where I can just talk shit and not have to worry about maintaining a tactful demeanor or a professional demeanor, especially considering how on one of my other YouTube channels, I am very kind of, I don't know the right word, but there's uh, one task completed. Oh, two tasks completed. Nice. Making progress, trying to get to 82. Oh, three tasks completed. Oh, baby, a triple. So what's left here? 
Heal a pyromancer. Repair a brazier. Okay. Let's stick around until we get those done. Where's my pyromancer at? Is he even here? Yeah, he's here. Just left click help. Nice. Let's jump to the other side. Light it up. Spark up the J, chop the broomer root. I could get used to this. I could get used to this. Crack and bruise, slight and braziers. That's what I'm about. I'm about it. Anyways, Yamala Shikardito. That's what he says. This power mancer here. Let's examine. Servant of the Sacred Flame. Wow, these guys are fucking. Ex uh, excuse my language. I mean, these guys are. Uh, these guys are strange men. I can't believe I took off my wizard hat. I want to put it back on. I think maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll make another episode just so I can wear my wizard hat in the thumbnail. Let's heal up with this rejuve potion. Very cool. I'd like to go after this round to open some loot and uh, see uh, what that wizard hat looks like on my dome. Maybe crack another brewski, start another episode. I think I might have just lost some time there. How can I get a thousand? Oh! How can I possibly get a thousand points when this game is over so soon? I haven't gotten any points yet, pretty much. I'm already half over. Maybe if I solo, if I solo the Winter Todd, it'll be more doable. But I feel like that would be really challenging. I've never soloed Winter Todd before. He's already halfway done, haven't even fed this fire yet. I'm keeping my eye on the Pyromancer in case he gets injured and I need to heal him, because I'll get that combat task for doing that. what my XP rate is on this. XP. I'm gonna say it like whoops. XP. Back for more. Only 18%. This is not very good. enough. He says he's fine, but I just want to heal him. Got my eye on you, buddy. Heal! Oh, he's still fine. What's the indicator? Oh, we can rest. Okay, let's go out, see what prize we get, and then I'll start a new episode with my wizard hat on and upload that tomorrow. One cool thing about this channel, even though, you know, I disappeared for a while on multiple occasions, more than three occasions now, um, even though I don't upload every day, I'm not going to upload more than one episode per day. 
So that's a big part of what makes it a daily. Don't go through the doors. Uh, yeah, so I'll upload this one today, and then I'll upload the next one tomorrow. But first, I gotta put on my wizard hat just so you get a little spoiler of what it looks like. Actually, let's see if I have my, um, yeah, I can put my fedora on, like a true Linux user. Yeah, that's looking good, isn't it? The fox on my back. Thanks for watching this episode of Iron Man Daily, and I'll catch you on the flip side.